anticipation playing for a team that has such great talent, but also an iconic franchise. And in addition to that, what was it like having Magic right down the street from you uh, an hour before he was supposed to meet with you to talk about becoming a Laker? Well, I mean, I think the excitement around the game for me in general, no matter what uniform I'm in, I'm, I'm just uh, always humbled that I'm able to play this game at this level. Um, I think we all know, and it can speak for itself, that this franchise uh, has been a historical franchise in this league for years. Um, you know, don't even have to talk about the years they won championships, talk about the players that came through this uh, franchise that's worn this uniform. So that's an excitement in its own right. Um, and then it's, it's just always humbling for me anytime I get an opportunity to be a part of something special. And I, I believe um, the conversation I had with Magic that night uh, was, was a special night. So I'm happy to be in this point today. LeBron. Welcome to Los Angeles. I want to know how it feels. I know you've been with two teams before. Cleveland, obviously, we all think of you uh, probably most with the Miami experience. You did very well there. What is it like to move to another place? I know you live here during much of the season, so it's not like a brand new experience, but what is it like to just change the location where you're going to be competing and uh, represent another city? I mean, well, it's always challenging when you move, no matter um, if you do it as a professional or if you've done it, you know, you know you're your adolescent days, which I did a lot. So, you know, moving from place to place is something that, um, you know, I, I've been accustomed with, especially growing up, you know, where I come from. So, um, you know, it's, it's more challenging for your family, um, you know, and uh, your friends that, that, you know, that take the leap and take the change as well. It's an uncomfortable position for them at the, at the beginning, uncomfortable for me as well. Just, you know, learning new streets, learning new routes, learning new, uh, you know, new people, being around a different uh, environment. Um, you know, so it's always a learning experience when you're able to, when, when you uh, have to change locations. So, uh, you know, it's, it's an adjustment that, you know, myself and my family and my friends will all adjust to, and, uh, but we'll be fine because we have each other. Hey, LeBron, Kurt Sandoval from ABC7. Uh, curious, as a man who's been to the NBA Finals eight consecutive years, the last time you weren't in the Finals is when this franchise was in the Finals. What's your expectations as, as a man who's measured by championships? Uh, well, my expectation, um, you know, is to try to get better every single day. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't expect nothing. You, you work for what you want, and uh, you can't expect anything. I think that's that's all. For me, it's all part of the process. And um, you know, we don't know. It's the unknown. The unknown is, um, you know, what to expect at the end of the road. So I don't, I don't ever base um, anything off of that. Uh, you know, what I know I can bring to the table is. You know, being committed to, you know, having excellence, um, you know, every single day from a mindset standpoint and from, you know, how I prepare uh, to go out and play. So, uh, you know, everything else, take care of yourself. Lauren Jones, LA Sentinel. Um, LeBron, obviously a definition of success for a successful season would be a championship. But are there any other markers or indicators that you have for this season um, being successful? I don't believe that. I don't believe the only um, thing of success you mark in the season is winning a championship. Um, you know, there's only one champion, uh, but that doesn't mean you're not, you know, not successful. I think, um, you know, there's going to be wins and losses and things of that nature, but what you can control is how you prepare every day, um, how we prepare every day to try to get better every day. You know, um, you know, we're, we're a new ball club coming together. Obviously, they have some returning guys, but you know, as far as the ball club, we're all new to each other. So, um, you know, we have to... Um, you know, take our bumps and our bruises. We have to, um, you know, it's going to be good times, it's going to be bad times, you know, and that's what happens with a team that's new. Um, but if we continue to work the process and we continue to, um, you, know, you know, sacrifice for one another and put in a, in a commitment and the time um, to, to being great, then, um, you know, everything else will, will, will fall into place, as I said before. Hey, LeBron, between breaking some film down of these young guys, uh, knowing their games from previous years, playing some five-on-five five here and talking to the coaching staff, have you gotten a sense yet of, of the way that you want to approach the games and how you guys might play with, uh, with pace and just the direction of the team? Um, well, my game uh, you know, does not change no matter who I'm alongside. You know, um, you know, I believe my game can fit with anybody. Uh, I'm a team-first guy. I love passing the ball. I love sharing the ball. Um, you know, and then watching these guys from the outside looking in, uh, the level of, of pace that they play with, I'm excited about. I love getting up and down and running and things of that nature. So, um, but you know, I think uh, you know Luke and the coaching staff will 
uh, let us know what they would like for us to how we can be great and um, and you know we have to practice that and we have to implement that every single day in order to uh, accomplish what we want to accomplish. Hey LeBron, Bill Orham with The Athletic. Um, two questions. One, can you drill down to the moment you decided to make this move and that you wanted to be a Laker? And then, and, and what was that like kind of as you, as you kind of took in what that would mean? And then two, so much to talk about what you can do for the young guys. I'm curious what you think the young core that has been in place for a couple of years will do for you. Um, well, I have a, I have a team. And um, to answer your first question, I have a team that we all come together. Um, you know, we've done this before. We, we mark out all the pros and the cons. And then at the end of the day, it's, um, you know, it's kind of up to, uh, you know, myself and my family. So, you know, we kind of made a decision that this was our next, uh, uh, our next journey. Um, this is our next path. And uh, so I was able to make the decision to come here. Um, truly excited, you know, about this opportunity. And then uh, I'm always uh, in, in a learning process. No matter, you know, where I'm at in my career, I'm always in a point where I want to learn and, and, and get things from, um, you know, teammates and, and, and coaches and things of that nature. So I'm looking forward to seeing, um, you know, what we all can bring to the table and how we can all bounce ideas and bounce uh, things off one another in order to, to, better, to better our games, um, uh, both on the floor and also, uh, you know, mentally as well. Yeah, LeBron, Bill Plaschke, LA Times. How much of your decision was based on the Lakers and how much on the business opportunities of Los Angeles? And how do you balance those two? Uh, my decision was based solely on my family and the Lakers. Uh, listen, I, I'm a basketball player. Um, I play ball. That's what I do. Uh, that's what I live by. And when I do it at the level, I do it at everything else, take care of itself. So, um, you know, my, as far as my business, those things have been taking care of itself way before I even came out here. To, to be a part of the Lakers franchise. Uh, LeBron, Andy Kamenetsky, ESPN LA, The Athletic. Where are uh, you? You've uh, obviously accomplished a lot in your career, been through a lot of different scenarios. At the same time, joining this team brings a lot of attention. What, if anything, at this stage of your career creates pressure for you or constitutes pressure? Say that again? What, if anything, at this stage of your career creates pressure for you? Brings about pressure. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> LeBron, um, you're at the far back. Uh, at your hi, Marcelo Correia from TV Global Brazil. Um, uh, people still thinks about uh, what what this Golden State Warriors team can be in the league at this moment because they keep adding pieces to the team and, and sometimes it looks unfair. Uh, but you have a young core here with you and some talented players as well. Do you think that this Los Angeles Lakers can beat uh, Golden State in, in the Western Conference? Uh, we got a long way to go to get to Golden State. Um, they could pick up right where they left off starting with training camp if they start today or whenever they start. Uh, we're picking up from scratch, so we have a long way to go. Um, you know, we can't worry about what Golden State is doing. Golden State is Golden State, and they're the champions, and uh, they've been together for a few years now. So, um, you know, we put that to the side. We can only focus on what we can do to get better every day as a Lakers franchise, and you know, and hopefully someday we can put ourselves in a position where we can compete for a championship, um, as Golden State has done for the last few years. Josh Peter, Josh Peter with USA Today, right here, LeBron. Between the, the movie project, the TV project, the documentary, the HBO show, how do you juggle off the court stuff and on the court stuff and keep it from becoming a distraction potentially? Um, how long have you been following me? Huh? Apparently not long enough. There go your answer right there. Uh, to be honest, I didn't get an opportunity to see it. Um, you know, Sunday is is usually, for the most part, family day with my, me and my kids and football. Um, so I didn't get an opportunity to see it. So I can't even answer that. Uh, LeBron, over here, uh, Om Young, Masuki, ESPN. Uh, you've been very good at kind of getting 
the strengths of your players, ad adapting to them and getting the best out of your teammates. I was wondering how you see, see all these pieces fitting. There's a lot of multiple ball handlers, versatile players. How do you see that? You know, how do you envision this fitting? Uh, that's definitely exciting, for sure. You know, when you see how many multiple ball handlers, how many guys that can do multiple things, um, you know, pass, shoot, rebound, put the ball on the court, um, you know, get out and run. So, you know, it's going to be, um, you know, fun to see how I can implement myself into that and we can all implement each other and get the best out of each other. So uh, tomorrow's going to be, a, you know, the start of, it's like the first day of school, you know, for me, you know, um, you know, you don't, you know what to expect, but you all, at the same time, you don't know what to expect. You know, me being my first time here, uh, part of this franchise and this system as well. So uh, I look forward to seeing and seeing how I can work and, and how we all can work together. Brian, right here, LA, Brad Twin, LA Times. Um, you and Rondo had some epic and testy games when you guys both played in the East. What's it going to be like having him as a teammate? And what was it like having him oppose you doing those pickup games last week rather than playing your team? Yeah, um, uh, Rondo in my career, and uh, since I've competed against him over the years, has always been one of the most cerebral players, smartest players that I, I've ever competed against. And one of the most competitive guys I've ever competed against. Um, he know everything that's going on on the floor. He know everything that you're doing. Um, he know everything the team is doing. He know all the strengths and the weaknesses. And um, sometimes you kind of see yourself, when you see yourself in someone on the opposing side, that's where it, it, you like think like someday it would be crazy if you ever teamed up and you're able to join forces with that type of cerebral uh, you know, mentality where you know exactly what's going on the floor every possession. So um, it's going to be it's going to be a, a really cool, uh, you know, moment when I step out on the floor with Rondo, just knowing, um, you know, things that he see and he know things that I see with us never even have to say anything. Um, it's not many of us in this league that can that can actually think and, and prepare with our minds um, before we even step on the floor and then actually play the game. Uh, like the two of us.